White-faced cappuccines will try to eat almost anything once and learn through trial and error about what food is edible or desirable. When eating fruit, they will first smell, bite or squeeze it to make sure it's ripe. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. And we are getting some footage from Honda Bay. And these are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongave to get notifications about our latest videos. White-faced capuchins have distinctive markings that distinguish them from other capuchin monkeys. They have a black body with a white upper chest and shoulders, and a white face with a black cap on top of their head, which is said to give these monkeys their name as it resembles the hood of a capuchin monk. White-faced capuchins live from northern Colombia to Belize, via Panama, Costa Rica and Nicaragua. They are highly adaptable and occupy a wide range of habitats, such as wet lowland forests and deciduous dry forests with a preference for closed canopied forests. White-faced capuchins are highly social and live in groups of 15 individuals on average, with one adult male leading the troop. Females stay with the group they are born into, while males live around four years old to find a new group. White-faced capuchins are diurnal primates and are very active during the day. Social play is common among all group members, especially juveniles, who spend considerable amount of time wrestling and playing. Play includes hand sniffing and mouth games. Juveniles also rely heavily on social learning, observing adults to learn essential behaviors and skills. The group spends most of their time traveling and foraging. They forage from the forest floor up to the canopy, where they use their prehensile tails to grasp and carry food. Capuchins are omnivorous. They eat insects like ants and grasshoppers, but also fruits, flowers, nuts, invertebrates, as well as small vertebrates taken opportunistically like squirrels, tree rats, lizards, and birds. According to a study in Costa Rica, they eat 63 different plant species, making them important seed dispersers. White-faced capuchins are polygamous, so males and females have multiple partners. Every two years, females give birth to a single baby that will cling to its mother for the first five or six months of life. As young as one year old, they are able to forage for food almost as well as adults. While the mother is taking care of the baby, alpha males will help protect its group from intruders and predators. When predators approach, capuchins use an alarm call to alert others of its presence. Then, they will use trill vocalizations to coordinate movement in the group, which will either flee or mob the predator. Their most common predators are caimans, jaguars, ocelots, harpy eagles and snakes, such as tree boas and lance heads. Besides predation, other factors that cause the capuchin's death are disease and infection from wounds sustained while fighting. The white-faced capuchin is classified as least concern on the IUCN. Its main pressure is habitat degradation and deforestation that reduce their suitable habitat. They are also hunted for food and kept as pets, which is very dangerous as white-faced capuchins can be carriers of various diseases such as malaria that can be transmitted to humans. In the next episode, we'll be meeting an animal that occasionally shares its den with red foxes. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time.